Hello and welcome to a fix it video. Well last year I fitted a genuine Dometic fridge fan kit to a friend's caravan. Well recently he's asked me if I could change the electric heating elements in his Truma Combi 2E boiler. Well here it is. This is the unit I'll be working on. It's under the front bench and it's a Truma Combi 2E. Getting the combi out of the caravan was easy enough, but to get the elements out of the combi was another story. Lots of tapping and tugging, and eventually I got them out. Well, only one element has blown, but because you've got to take the combi out of the caravan to change them, it makes sense to change them both. Well, they are 900 watts each, and when the heating is on maximum, you get an output of 1.8 kilowatts. Truma don't sell the elements separately, it comes as a kit with combustion chamber, various seals, nuts, bolts, washers and the price varies between three and four hundred pounds depending where you purchase the kit from. I did a search on the internet and found quite a few heating elements, on eBay for example, prices ranging from say £79, this is for the pair, up to £100-£120. Well then I found a, a company called Thermotechnica and they were selling them for £155 for the pair and I've got them here so I thought I would go a halfway between the cheaper ones and the Truma kit and this is the Thermotechnica information I'll show you the new elements These are rubber insulators and I would say the thread is the same diameter. I'll do a simple continuity test. This is the old element. This is the other old element. Nothing. So that's the one that's burnt out. And this is the new element. That's that one. That's that one. Right, I'll wind back in time to get the old elements out and we'll fit the new ones. I'll see you at the caravan. This is the caravan I'll be working on. It's a Bailey Phoenix Platinum Edition 760. There's no mains electricity connected. The gas is turned off and I'll be isolating the 12 volt power supply from the battery. Got to disconnect everything, the pipe work, the gas, the heating ducts, the flue duct and take out the screws holding the unit to the floor. Need a stubby screwdriver to get the screw out that's holding the heating ducts in. Take the cover off the electrical connections and take a photograph of the wiring connections. I'll disconnect the wiring. And the control panel data cable. Take the flue duct off. There's two ducts here. There's the outer duct and the inner duct which you'll see in a moment. There's the inner flue duct and it needs a 25 star bit. the inner flew off. Just took that there out of the way. I'm going to take the screws out holding the unit to the floor. There's one down there, one there, one there and two there. I'm 
I'm going to disconnect the hot water pipe just by pulling in that red inner ring there. That's off. And now there's the cold water connection at the bottom. What I'll have to do is pull this blue inner ring in to release the pipe from the elbow and then the, the elbow will have to come off uh, once I've got the unit out. I'll try this uh, pipe release tool. That's off. And now I'm going to get the uh, spanner to take the gas connection off. I'm going to put this plastic bag on the end of the gas line just to stop any any dirt getting in and use this elastic band the only connection now is this mains cable connection this orange cable here and it's quite tight so what I might have to do is take these two clips out to allow a bit of play in the cable so I've tilted this up I've got to uh, Get the mains cable out from the connection point, so I've got to take this cover off and I need to take the two screws out here, which means using a, a number 20 star bit. So this is the connection point, so I need to get these out of the terminals. So you, you put a screw push a screwdriver into these slots, press down, and they just come out. I'll have to use the star bit to loosen the cable clamp. I can get the unit out of the caravan now. Or put it on this bench. Easier to work on then. Right, I've got to take this cover off. I need to take these four nuts off. One, two, three, four. And it's uh, an eight millimetre uh, socket bit. Right, there is a, a wire here to uh, what looks like a sensor. And these are the ends of the heating elements. Turn the unit round. And now I've got to get this panel off by taking these screws out. The Torx bit's a little bit too, too wide to fit in that hole. So I've used a screwdriver and it's fit snugly into the end of the uh, screw. the elbow off. Right, so these are the connections for the heating elements. So take these caps off, just slide them down. What I'm going to do next is mark the wiring to coincide with each uh, point on the element. So I know when I put it back, it all goes back to how it is. So I'll mark that as number one. Number two. And four. It's a seven millimeter socket bit to take these little nuts off. Just 
Just got to be careful I don't lose these little washers. Now it's a case of sliding these elements out. Um, but I think they're going to be tight because over time, you know, when they're in use, they heat up, cool down, uh, expand and contract. Um, I think they're going to be tight, so uh, let's have a go. Firstly, I'm going to put a plastic bag over this gas connection to keep any dirt out. Put an elastic band on. Now I'm going to tap. That's one out. Tap the second one through. I'll take the red insulators out. Oh. Finally, got the second one out with a bit of persuasion. I mean, they're a bit, uh, they're a bit bent. That's because of uh, trying to get them out. So that's where the elements slide in there, there, there and there. And if we look down one of the slots, you can see daylight. Let's see how easy the new elements slide into the unit. I'll slide these insulators off. These are the, the old ones, original ones. If I don't take these insulators off, I won't be able to slide the elements in from the back of the unit. So this one goes in here. Perfect, that. This one here. Yeah, perfect. I'll fit the insulators in place. Push the element through. There we go that one I'll put these insulators in place push the element through so now we can connect the the wiring up Put that washer back on there. Wiring number one. Put that washer on. And then the nut. Nick that up. Put the next one on. That's that one on. So this one next, washer on. Wiring on. Washer and nut. Seven millimeter socket. Get this label off. Take this one off. Slide the insulator over. And that's the two elements fitted. Ah, oh, there's a label here. Got that off. So there are the two elements in place and I'm going to refit this back cover. I'll put the 8mm nuts back on. There are four of them. Right, 
that's the back cover on. Uh, we'll go back round to the front. There's quite a bit of dust in here, so I'm going to vacuum that out and the same on this fan. That's a lot cleaner. Right, I'll put the cover back on the front. Oh, the inside wants vacuuming. Just take the plastic off the gas inlet. Put the it back over the gas inlet. Don't want any muck getting in there. Right, that's the front cover back on. Before I put it back in the caravan, I'm going to clean the floor under the bench with the vacuum and damp cloth. Right, the unit can go back into the caravan now. First job is to reconnect the uh, 230 volt cable. So I have to get a screwdriver in there, lever it down to open the terminal and then push the wire in and let go. That's that and now I can tighten the clamp down. It's the number 20 star bit. By the way, these are the wires that feed the heating elements. Well, I've got to get this elbow back onto the cold water inlet. I'm going to use some of this Hepworth Hep 2O jointing lubricant spray. I've had this a while. Uh, you can't, well, it's not uh, branded as Hepworth anymore. I think they've been taken over. on right, that's the unit fixed back to the floor I think I'll get these two heating ducts back on put the retaining screw in and the next one These two heating ducts back in now. Next job is the uh, flue. So this is the combustion uh, inner flue, and that clip has got to be right up up against the end of the the duct. Right, the twenty five number star bit. So the inner duct is the uh, combustion gases to the outside and the outer duct is the fresh air inlet for the combustion chamber. Just got to make sure these ribs are pressed close together and the, the Jubilee clip will clamp on better. Right, that's the flue on. Put the gas on next, set the bags off. I'll put a bit of jointing compound on. It's 
17 mil spanner. Should be okay. Put the cold water back on now at the bottom here. Push that into elbow. That's in. And now the hot water. That's on. Now it's uh, pushing these wiring connections back on the terminals. So I'll refer back to the photograph that I took. That's the photograph. So the data lead goes to this left port. In there. The red wire with black tracer goes to the one next to the data port. The yellow wire with white tracer next to that one. Then we've got that jumper lead already in place. And then the white one goes on that terminal. And the blue one on that terminal. And then put the cover back on. That's it, it's all back in place. Everything's connected, everything's clean, and it's time to fill it up with water and try the heating. Water's connected, I filled the hot water tank up and we'll see if there's any leaks at the pipe connections. Mains is connected. Turn the master switch on. The hot water symbol on the Truma control panel has stopped flashing, that means it's reached temperature. I've had it on boost, so that's maximum. I'm going to turn the hot water tap on now and check the water temperature with this temperature gauge. That's 60 degrees. I think we can safely say both heating elements are working. Yeah, you can see the water steaming here. What I'm going to do now is turn on the gas and fire it up on the control panel. I'm going to turn that to mix two. There you've got your, your gas bottle and two electric symbols, meaning it's on maximum. Gas is working okay, you can hear that. It's been on mix two for about 10 minutes now, that's gas and electric. Uh, so I'm going to try the water temperature now. 67 degrees. I'm happy with that. 68 now. got the water heating on gas only so I'll check the water temperature 64 degrees on gas only so that's fine I'm going to try the blown air heating we'll turn that up to maximum which is 30 and then go to the fan and put that on high the fans come on Put my temperature probe in that uh, outlet, blowing at 55 degrees, 56. I'm going to switch everything off now, turn the hot water off and the room heating's off. Um, press and hold to turn the whole system off. Ah. 
and then turn the master switch off. Well, that's it, job complete, and I'm really pleased with the results. Uh, the gas system is going to be pressure tested by a caravan uh, service engineer. And what I would say is, if you're not competent in tackling this sort of work, I would highly recommend getting in touch with a member of the approved workshop scheme or a caravan dealer. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and useful and hope to see you again soon.